take any number and add its digits. Keep adding the digits of the resulting numbers until you're left with a single digit. For example, 345 is 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is 12. 12 is 1 plus 2, which is 3. Here's a nine point circle. We'll make our way around the circle a few times. Now let's look at one of the points. You'll notice that next to three is a 12, and that the digit sum of 12, one plus two, equals three. The same is true for 21, two plus one, and so on. This digit sum property can be found on every point on every branch of the circle into infinity. It's the reason we can check answers using digit sums. In digit sums, nine behaves like zero. Take any number and add nine to it. You'll always end up with the same digit sum as you would if you had not added the nine. You can see this at every step on the circle. Two plus nine is 11, 11 plus nine is 20, 20 plus nine is 29. All of those numbers digit sum back to 2. So in digit sums, adding 9 is effectively adding 0. That's why we can cast out 9s when checking answers with digit sums. 18's digit sum, 1 plus 8, is 9. And at the heart of the branch, not surprisingly, we find 0. Take a look at this problem. One plus two plus three is six. Two plus three plus four is nine. And three plus five plus seven is 15. Six plus nine is 15. So now we have 15 equals 15. Digit summing both sides of that, we get six equals six. Now here's a trick to make things easier. If you see a nine, you can cross it out. If you see two or more digits in a number which add to nine, you can cross them out. Let's digit sum this number the long way. Five plus four plus three plus six plus seven plus two plus one is 28. Two plus eight is 10, one plus zero is one or just cast out the nines. Five and four is nine, cross them out. Three and six is nine, cross them out. Seven and two is nine, cross them out. And you're left with one. 12 times 13 equals 156. Let's check our work through digit sums. One plus two is three. One plus three is four. One plus five plus six is 12. So now we have three times four equals 12. That's 12 equals 12, and then digit summing finally, 3 equals 3. 529 divided by 23 equals 23. Let's check our work using digit sums. First of all, cross out the 9. 5 plus 2 is 7, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So the new problem is 7 divided by 5 equals 5. 7 divided by 5 is 1.4, so our new problem is 1.4 equals 5. When doing digit sums, the equal sign is used loosely until the end. It's understood that 1.4 is really our cue to add 1 to 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 equals 5. There must be equality on both sides of the equation, or there's a problem with the calculations. Digit sum checking doesn't prove that an answer is correct, but it shows with reasonable certainty that an answer is correct, and will typically show when an answer is wrong.